Zeebrug, a port off the coast of Belgium, along with Peter de Moor of Dredging International, Peter's on the right, and Volker Koch on the left of Moba Corporation. Peter has arranged a trip for Volker and I to go out and see their hopper dredger operate in the harbor. Green is our color, yes. It took us about, oh, 20, 25 minutes to get out to where the hopper dredger was working. Passing a cargo ship, freight liners, mostly what you'd expect to see. Now, from what I understand, this dredger worked this harbor most year round. This is the dredger, hopper dredger here. And as we approached the dredger, uh, first thing we do is go in and meet the crew and see the command and control, how they operate the ship, before going down to watch the dredger in action. Here we see the dredger sucking the material off the bottom of the ocean floor, harbor floor, and bringing it into the belly of the ship. Now, they know the desired elevation that they want to dredge to, and because there are sensors and GPS on the, on the ship, they know what the existing bottom is. So they, this is basically a cut and fill, uh, cut and fill application, just like an earth movie, as they work and dredge until they reach the, reach the desired elevation. And once the hopper is full, They'll pull the dredging arm back up to the side of the ship before going out to uh, dump the material. I think we went 10, 12 kilometers out from the harbor to dump the material. And while we were making that journey, uh, the time that it took to go out where we were going to dump the material, we, the ship's engineer took us on a tour through the, through the ship. And here we have a large Caterpillar diesel motor that serves as a backup generator. This is the hydraulic controls room. Uh, quite a few barrels of uh, hydraulic fluid, several shelves of stock hoses uh, for them to make their own repairs. And I think the ship was three or four floors deep. Quite impressive. I, I hadn't been on a lot of ships, so it, I thought it was uh, pretty amazing. This is the machine shop that they have in the ship. They, they need to be pretty self-sufficient when they're out to sea or making a long journey, so they can do just about whatever type of repair they may need to do. And this is the rudder, so it's hydraulically controlled, very long, this thing just slides back and forth, which helps steer the ship. And this is the tooth that Peter DeMore just had that is, several of these are mounted into the dredger that mills up the material before it comes into the, uh, to the hopper. So once we reach our destination, again, 10 to 12 kilometers out to sea, the bottom of the ship it opens up and it simply drops all of this material. It doesn't take it very long. It takes it a lot more time to fill up than it does to drop out. You can see how quick this is moving out. Once the hopper's empty, they put a little water back in, slosh it around to remove the remaining debris, 
and go back to the harbor and do it all over again. Yeah.